Hurricane Sam is weakened considerably from the last advisory. As you can see, the core does not look nearly as healthy as it did before. So we'll go ahead and go over that very quickly. We have the latest from the NHC coming in as of 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight, Daylight Time. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, it's moving towards the northeast at 16 miles per hour. The general track with the increase in forward speed is expected during the next several days. And Sam will move to southeast and, uh, and east of Newfoundland over the North Atlantic. Maximum sustained winds are now near 115 miles per hour with higher gusts. Sam is still a Cat 3 on the Sapphire S the Simpson hurricane wind scale. Further uh, low weakening is anticipated during the next few days, and Sam could transition into a powerful tr post tropical cyclone but on Monday night. Hurricane force winds extend outward 70 miles from the center. And tropical storm force winds still extend about 240 miles from the center. So this is still a very large system. Just keep that in mind uh, before, as we get on to this. Pressure has gone up again to 955 millibars. So this thing definitely is going downhill. You can look at the core right here. It looks pretty bad. Even though that sent, that rotation is still there to a broader sense, it looks like it's already starting that process of it, well, if it, it looks like it might soon start its process of becoming a post-tropical cyclone, but at this point, it's still a hurricane. It's still a tropical cyclone at this point. It still has that rotation, but I will be keeping an eye on that for that transition in the next couple of days. I remember Hurricane Larry, It was as it was approaching Newfoundland, it was making that basically that, that transition from a tropical cyclone to a post-tropical cyclone. And I was seeing it in real time. I actually have a live stream, a two-hour live stream, talking about that. So, yeah, we were covering its landfall at that point. So, yeah, for Sam, it's not making landfall anywhere. So, I'm just, that's that's basically the point right here. But, hey, like, that core right here, like, that's where center of circulation appears to be. The core is, looks, if that's the core right there, that's a lot smaller than it has been. And, for, uh, and I'll show you how large it previously was. So this is where it was earlier today. Core collapsed, and that's where it is now. This is the end result of that core collapse. So I'll be I will continue to keep a close eye on Hurricane Sam as it weakens, as it continues to move towards the northeast over the Atlantic Ocean. But now we're going to first go into the cone. We're going to talk about that. The cone has this basically becoming a Cat 2 hurricane in the next few hours. It basically is going to remain a hurricane. It's expected to become a post-tropical cyclone on Monday night. Uh, then uh, by Tuesday, and then by Tuesday, like uh, Tuesday and Wednesday night, it's expected to be uh, basically a tropical uh, storm strength, a post-tropical cyclone. And the models further out, some think it's just going to stop right here. It's going to dissipate and just stop right here. Uh, one model, though, has it making landfall five days out in, I in western Iceland, so that's something interesting to keep an eye on. I will continue to do that. I will continue to keep a very, very close eye on these models. But they are generally in agreement for the next 24 to 48 hours uh, with them just moving northeast, away, f like far away from Newfoundland. You're not going to... Newfoundland isn't going to really see any impacts other than the surf, and forgot to cover that, but here's the hazards affecting land, surf. Swells generated by sand will impact the northern Leeward Islands, Greater Antilles, the Bahamas, the eastern United States, Atlantic Canada for the next couple of days. These swells can cause life-threatening surf and rip current conditions. Please conduct, uh, sorry, please consult products from your local weather office. So basically, that's the point right here. Uh, that's the point. You, if you're in any of those areas, if you're in the northern Lesser and if you're in the northern Lesser Antilles, parts of the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Cuba, well, not necessarily Cuba, but uh, Haiti, all those places, the Bahamas, uh, the U.S. Eastern U.S. coast, I I wouldn't recommend swimming at this point unless you're a very strong swimmer because of those rip currents. I'd w just give it another day. 
That's all I'm going to say about that. Give it another day. That, yeah, just, just don't go swimming tomorrow. If even if the, uh, if, if the waters are even warmer at, at that point. So, yeah, we, yeah. Basically, we already covered that. We're going to go to the intensity now. This has this is actually outdated, but uh, at the same time, it's a general agreement. There it has it weakening to a cat two. Uh, it's from 12, from 12 to 36 hours, then to a cat one from four, in 48 to 72 hours. Uh, yeah, and basically 48 hours. And then a tropical storm by 72 hours out. So three days out, this thing could be a tropical storm. I will con Yeah, I will continue to keep a close eye on that, especially considering that it's just... Like, it's on a weakening trend right now. It's... Not getting any stronger. The UKX2 and the CEM2 have this going back up to a, a 125 mile per a power, sorry 125 mile per hour hurricane. That's not going to happen. I can guarantee that's not going to happen. It's going to continue its weakening trend. The wind shear is too great. The waters are too cold, and it's right now. It looks like it's about to start that process of becoming a post tropical cyclone. So, I can assure you, that is not going to happen. I can guarantee that fact. It is not going anywhere after it weakens to a cat two. It's not going anywhere near major hurricane status again. That's where the saga of Hurricane Sam is almost over. So, yeah, it's not. It has, it has no intention of strengthening back to a major hurricane. Well, excuse me. It still is a major hurricane, but it has no it has no desire to strengthen back to a 125 mile per hour hurricane. It's on the weakening trend at this point. And I know before I said the cap was at 130, and I said the cap was at 140, it got to 150, but that was a different environment. Above 30 degrees, uh, hurricanes very rarely, uh, like basically just major hurricanes very rarely are up above 30 degrees uh, uh, north at that point. And for good reason, they don't, the, the waters are too cold, the wind shear is just too great sometimes. And not only that, the conditions that far north are just, they're just not, they, they don't necessarily bode well when it comes to stuff like this. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and go back to the satellite. Once again, for those of you uh, who, who did not see the last video, this is essentially what happened. Actually, I'm going to even go, go even further back. I'm going to go back to 120 frames. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take this frame by frame. This is what the core of Sam looked like uh, yesterday, or, uh, like like around like one o'clock in the morning. This is where it, what it looked like at that point. So yeah, actually around two, around yeah three thirty-five uh, Eastern Daylight Time. This is what it looked like. This was still a Cat Four hurricane with winds of about one hundred forty-five miles per hour. There it is. It's it gets to act uh, get together a little bit. That eye got a bit ragged, but there you go. The eye looks much better in this shot right here. You can see that right here. That's the last time we're going to see uh, the eye like this. So cherish this as as well as you can. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna keep this on for a few more seconds so that way you can cherish this. This is gonna be the last uh, frame of the eye, uh, time you're gonna see the eye of Hurricane Sam like this. I'm uh, and for those of you who really liked uh, the eye, I'm sorry. This is the last time. So anyway, we're gonna continue. Okay, for some reason it went back, so yeah, there it is. It looks, gets more ragged. You can see the eye shrinking at this point, so if, generally, if the eye starts contracting when, uh, contracting a little slower, and it was over a very conducive environment, that generally means it's strengthening, but the eye is, col uh, the, uh, the eye shrinking this, uh, the eye shrinking, like, the eye is like this, it shrinks like this that quickly, that means the core is collapsing. So there's two different uh, aspects. When I've, when Sam's eye just shrunk the first time, I thought it was strengthening at a ridiculous rate. But, uh, but as I looked, it, uh, I looked at it more detail. I looked into the details a little bit more. It turns out the core basically co it was collapsing at that point because it was starting to upwell some water because it essentially slowed down to a point where it was trying to uh, essentially used colder water to absorb it so yeah that's what happened with that as we continue with this 
Okay, for some reason this doesn't want to cooperate with me. So yeah, it continues the eye collapses at that point, and then there it is. That's how. That's what. That's the evolution of this thing in the past day. I'm gonna play this for back one more time just to show you guys. So there it is. The eye gets better defined. However, after that, it gets ragged. The eye starts to shrink. The core collapses, and boom! This is what you get right here. So, yeah. That's basically all I have on Hurricane Sam. Before we go, we're going to go to the few key takeaways we have. First key takeaway is that this is a quick, a rapidly weakening hurricane. It was at, at this point yesterday, it was at 150 miles per hour, and it was still going strong. And now that's not the case. It's down to 115 miles per hour. So this thing is weakening at a considerable pace. It's still a major hurricane, but it won't be for long. Trust me when I say that. It's, it's still a very large system, but again, it's too far away from Newfoundland to really impact it. Second key takeaway, like I said, the cone has this moving over the North Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, by Monday night, it's, it's expected to become a post-tropical cyclone at hurricane strength. It's expect, And by Wednesday, it's expected to lose that hurricane strength and have more of a tropical storm strength at that point. And then, at that point, after that... It really depends. Majority of the models have this somewhat dissipating or slowing. It's just stalling right here. While the, this one model, though, has this making landfall in, in western Iceland, which, okay. But I'll be keeping a close eye on that. Third key takeaway is that this hurricane is on a weakening trend. It's only going to continue at this point. It's not at that. It's not going to, you know, just... Or like there's a couple of miles that have it going back up to a 120 or 125 mile per hour hurricane. It's not going to happen. Trust me when I say that. Um, and once again, I'm going to say it for two reasons. One, last time that happened, it was in very conducive conditions. It was in a favorable environment. This uh, this is not in a favorable environment. This is literally 35 degrees north. That far north is generally major hurricanes very rarely are up are up that far north because of how how bad the conditions get get up there for development. So, yeah, the second thing is that it's just there's too the water is too cold. There's too much wind shear, and the not only that the core is collapsing. You just if you're made it this far in this video, you just saw it about a minute ago. The core is just collapsing at this point. So. Yeah, we're, and you're going to see the core collapse again because that's actually my fourth key takeaway. This core, it kind of redefined itself, and there it is. It finally gave way. It starts, it's basically collapsed at that point, and it's a much smaller core. So, essentially, that's what's going on with this thing. This, this doesn't have much longer left. This is something I've been covering for quite a while now. <laughs> I've been seeing the evolution. Hurricane Sam, like I said, is a very good case study. It's generally, the reason I think that is because it's not really affecting land or anything, so it's a, the perfect hurricane to study, especially as it's gone through the, the best part, the best and now some, some of the worst conditions for development at this point. So, yeah, that's basically all I have for Hurricane Sam. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more updates.